Introduction to Signal Meter Software. Start by clicking the Configure icon located in the upper right corner. Select the desired DAQ device from the drop-down list of installed devices. Then adjust the general settings. The Channel Start option refers to the channel from which to begin measuring. Channel Count. Specify the number of channels to be measured. View Channel. Select the channel to view. Channel data is shown on the right side of the window. The channel signal connection type can be either single-ended or differential. Value Range. Specify the value range for the analog input signal range. Samples. Specify the number of data samples to collect from each channel. Clock Rate. Specify the number of analog signal samples to collect per second. After configuring the basic settings, select the required window function. The operating mode can be set to Run Once or Cyclic. If the device supports trigger functions, configure the trigger conditions. The source signal can be either digital or analog. Edge can be either rising or falling edge. Delay action is for specifying a start or stop delay. With delay count, the action delay after a trigger event can be specified in time or number of samples acquired per channel. After configuring the settings, click OK to finish. Located on the left are function tools for scope, AC performance, and DC performance. Select the required function and click Start to begin signal analysis. Signal meter software supports zoom in and out operations. Hold down the left mouse button and move the cursor right and down to select the area for enlargement. Note, the time and frequency waveform displays are scaled automatically during zoom in out operations. Click and hold the right mouse button to scroll through the waveform. To return to the original display view, hold the left mouse button and move the cursor left and up to reverse the zoom state. The software also features a cursor tool for conducting detailed signal measurements. Place the cursor at the desired measurement point and double click the left mouse button. The measured value is displayed on the right. To take another measurement, select Cursor 1. Position the cursor at the desired point and double-click the left mouse button. The difference in value between the two points is shown on the right. Next, we will demonstrate selecting a different window function from the configuration screen. Select the AC Performance tool and click Start. The resulting waveforms show the time and frequency of the AC input signal. Detailed values are displayed on the right. The frequency waveform data can be presented in line or point or line and point format. The frequency display also supports zoom and pan functions. Finally, we will demonstrate the DC performance tool functions. The top display shows the time domain. The bottom display is a histogram of raw data where the horizontal axis represents the resolution and the vertical axis represents the number of times. Thanks for watching.